What's going on guys, Dane here and welcome to Dawnblade. This is a brand new mobile ARPG that just dropped on the marketplace in early access and it's doing a lot of things right guys. So uh, I think the best way to just start talking about what this game is doing right is to immediately jump into some combat and then start talking about what's going on. So we're going to jump into this Slaying the Overseer quest right here and all you do is click on it, enter portal, jump on in and we are in. So uh, what this game is, it is an action RPG uh, and it is a high skill high speed, high paced, ridiculous time. Uh, the time limits for those S ranks are out of this world. You need to get good at this game to pull an S off. And it's all about just learning the dungeon, learning the skills, learning the enemy, and getting better and better and better, and going for that high rank, getting better and better gear. The harder these floors get, the better the rank you're getting, and just speeding your way through. You're going to notice this game does not slow down. It is a high-octane action RPG, and it is, it is done extremely, extremely well. Some of these dungeons are very big. Some of these dungeons are tiny. Uh, this is a smaller one, but it is a big boss fight, and I mean, I didn't realize it was going to be this short of a dungeon. Uh, we could have jumped into a different one for our first one, but I think it's going to show off this boss pretty well. We're going to juke all of his nonsense, and he's going to shield our dash. That is annoying. Can we actually dash through him? We can't dash through him while he has the shield on. <laughs> that is so obnoxious, but we took him out. Uh, so what this game is... It is a loot fest, and it does a lot of things right. We actually just got an S rank, which is amazing. That's my first S rank. Uh, it's not easy to do. <laughs> it's not easy to do. Uh, so this game, it's a it's a loot fest. It's a loot fest, and it does it perfectly. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the upgrade system in a second, but let's jump into another map and really take a look at what these things are doing correctly. Let's dive into this one right here and uh, talk about a little bit of the system. So this is my first character. Uh, I'm going to be building every single character. I want to see how they all play differently. There's a mage, there's a ranger, and then there's this guy who is the, the sword master. You know what I mean? He is the high speed, high mobility, high damage, low HP uh, uh, character. And I'm a big fan of how he plays. Uh, it fits my play style pretty well. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I play a different play style in a lot of different games, so I don't really know about that. Uh, I just wasted a lot of time grabbing a little bit of gold when I could have been moving on to get this time limit. These are the things you got to keep in mind. Now, we got a lot of people showing up. We're going to big chop. We're going to dash to get out of the animation, and we still can't get out. Who is alive? Who thinks they have what it takes? Oh, my pet over here. This guy right here, he's my pet. <laughs> Uh, he's a weird looking dude, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's my pet. Uh, he uh, he just distracted them all for me, and I did not. I, I didn't even notice they were there. But on my next playthrough th through this dungeon, I'm gonna be remembering that they spawn backline units in that area, and I'm gonna increase my speed and my time on this. This is a speed running action RPG loot fest, and the looting is crazy. And I'm actually gonna open up a couple of chests. Uh, is whatever the most expensive chest I can get my hands on and whatever I can get or like how many I can open I'm gonna blow all of my gold and we're gonna see what we can get out of these loot chests and see if they're any kind of worth it I think a lot of people used to really like my summoning videos. So this is kind of the next best thing uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of seeing what we can get out of the loot crates. So this is just high octane We leveled up as a matter of fact uh, fast progression. I'm level 11 and I've been playing for like 20 minutes <laughs> uh, very fast progression. Uh, not as fast as Gem X, but Gem X is just a power spike from the beginning. Uh, it's not the same game. It's not going for the same thing. It's uh, it's doing things completely different. I mean, I don't, I haven't seen an auto battle function to begin with, which is great because you don't want to auto battle anyway. You want to maximize your time. And now we're in a fight, so we're gonna dash through, one shot everybody because I'm overpowered. And it's going to be a good time. This, uh, look at this world right here. I'm just going to take a second to stop and look at this waterfall. Guys, this reminds me insanely of the first scene that drew me into Final Fantasy X. Uh, when you're walking along, uh, Makalania, was it Makalania? Was that the name of the first, uh, island you land on where you meet Yuno and Waka and all them? Uh, there, there's a, there's a famous scene in that, that map. Uh, of a of a waterfall in a grassy patch with a little fence and uh, it really reminds me of that in that little section I, a big shout out to the nostalgia factor I just got by looking at that and we're fighting the Minotaur and we're gonna destroy him now uh, You are basically invincible while you're dashing around doing that skill and we got novice rags and Probably nothing crazy. We got an a rank uh, We weren't even close to s rank and we barely got a rank. We were there exactly on time like I said, not an easy game. Now let's take a look at a couple of the upgrade systems because, I mean, really, you're grinding to upgrade. And this is, uh, guys, this is the only negative I'm going to say about the game. 
there are ads occasionally. They're not very often, but there are ads occasionally, which is a little obnoxious. And I'll point that in, in every game that drops random ads that kind of force you to watch them. Uh, I'm never a big fan of it, and I really think it pulls you out of the experience, but that's just my opinion. Uh, some people are like, well, it's a free-to-play game, so, you know, give me ads, you know, and that's a perfectly fine opinion. I just don't like being pulled out of my experience for it. Now, there's gear. Uh, there's different gear sets, and each gear set does something different. Uh, this one right here is a simple sword, and if I equip se seven pieces of simple equipment, I'll get 20 damage simple as that and uh, the better gear you get the better set bonuses you're getting now if you want to upgrade all you got to do is click on it and click fuse item click on one of these plus signs and dump a bunch of stuff into it uh, just dump whatever you're not going to be using it's okay you're going to be swimming in gear and this is an amazing way to level up your stuff level up your stats and it is very cheap as far as uh, gold goes now, I'm a fan of that, and there's also insert gem. You can click on here, and you can put your gems in here, and I'm going to put this one in for a little bit of XP bonus, uh, and it will go right in, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, should I just do a second XP bonus? Oh, you can't do this, a copy of the same gem. Okay, you can't do a copy of the same gem. They thought ahead. I was going to absolutely do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit of, no available slots for this type of gem. Oh, it takes a specific shape, guys. It takes a specific shape. You can see the shape right here. So we're actually going to drop this extra mana one right in there. And that is the gems. And we increased our combat power doing that. And you can do that for every piece of equipment. Uh, there's actually wings in the game that I have not unlocked yet. But I'm super excited. I like wings in the game. Uh, I'm a big fan of all of that. There's a pet system going on. Uh, you can go ahead and click on whoever, whatever pet you want. There aren't that many pets in the game. Uh, it is early access, so there is always the possibility of more, though I'm not going to promise it. And even if there's not, I haven't experimented with all the pets yet, so I don't even know if there needs to be more. So I'm not going to call that a negative at the moment. We're just going to find out. Now, all you got to do, click on your pet that you're using and feed him a little bit of gold and a little bit of meat, and you can level him up. Simple as that. It is beautiful. And once you get him a uh, max level, you can actually star him up with evolution materials. Big fan of all that. Now, what's going on in here? Uh, there, uh, da there's rewards going on all the time. You're just going to get time rewards. You're going to get level rewards. There's daily login rewards going on right now, which is dope. But this world, this is the main hub. This map right here is your main hub. And it is, uh, it's basically where you get your quests. You can see your, uh, the gear you've collected in the past. There's all kinds of stuff. This is like a giant main menu. Uh, it's an interactive main menu is really what it is. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a fan of that. It's, uh, it's different designed. Um, if you're used to MMOs, maybe you're used to a lot of people populating places like this, but this is not an MMO and it is not pretending to be. This is your hub. This is your world. You can come back to relax, upgrade all your stuff, and then dive back in. Uh, nice, uh, nice little place to just relax. And I'm a fan of that. Now I'm going to try out something I haven't tried yet because I'm unaware if I can only do this once. Uh, and I didn't want to do it once and not be able to show it off in the, uh, in the the you know the video here so this is the trial this is the trial and i'm not sure what that means but there is a fat time limit on our screen so we're gonna have to be fast and we're gonna do this as efficiently as possible we're gonna just dash person to person use our high mobility to our advantage and we're gonna slay and we do have an aoe attack that we're gonna drop right here and we're gonna take everybody out in this little crowd and i'm a fan this game uh honestly I'm not sure if there's going to be more skills unlocked because I almost have the last skill. Oh, no, I don't. It's level 32 to unlock it. I don't know if there's more skills in this game. I don't know if you can customize your skills in any way. You can level them up, and I'll show that, actually, uh, once we get out of here, and then we'll do our summoning. Uh, you can level your skills up, and you can level your passives up. I'm unaware if there's any more skills that you can customize your gameplay style with. I have no idea, but as an early access game, it's not a final verdict. It's a first impression. Uh, and my first impression is actually extremely positive. I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. I'm having such a good time. Uh, literally, no joke. I'm having such a blast. I mean, you can see it right here. This game is high octane, wild carnage, and it is a high skill cap, high reward, loot fest, and it's done extremely, extremely well. Very high quality. I've never heard of the dev team before. Uh, I actually just hopped into their Discord, and I'm gonna be, uh, I I'm gonna be chatting with them. Although they're, uh, they're not my, uh, they're, uh, you know, they're. I I'm just gonna let them know they made a good game. Is basically what I'm doing. No sponsorship or anything like that. I like to, I like to hop into company Discords and let them know, hey, you made a great game. 
uh, and I think uh, that's pretty much the level we're gonna leave it at. So we ended up uh, clearing it out, and we got we got a lot of gold and whatever this is. I don't know what that is, and I wish I could click on it to see what it is, but it's early access, so I'm gonna drop that little suggestion in as well. And honestly, I think anyone that likes this game should hop in the Discord and drop all of your suggestions and uh, let them know exactly what you think about their title. It's the best way to handle it. This game is in development currently, which means we we might have a say in it, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's uh, pretty dope. So all you gotta do to upgrade your skills, just click on it and dump some gold in. Simple as that, and you can only upgrade them to your level cap. So now I have a level 11 skill here, and a level 11 skill here, and a level 11 skill here. And you have little passives going on down here. You can upgrade your health on hit, you can upgrade your mana on hit, your crit damage, your gold bonus, and your XP bonus, which is all phenomenal. Uh, just little passives that are going to help you out throughout the game and uh, level up at your own risk because I don't know how uh, how easy it's going to be to get gold as you go later and later. I literally have no idea. So I'm a little wary of just blowing it all, although I have a lot currently. 740,000 for 20 minutes of play is pretty solid. So that's a skill upgrade system. What do you say we up? We uh, open a couple of these. What do you say we open a couple of these? A veteran treasure chest, you say? A veteran treasure chest. Um, yes. Let's open it. Let's see what we can get. Bam. Okay, nothing crazy. Oh, it only gives you one item. It only gives you one item. It's very expensive for one item. Can we get... Okay, we got a great sword. Thank God we got a blue weapon. Thank God. Thank God. I was a little worried we just weren't going to get anything decent for our trouble. And we got a we got a blue pendant, so that is not as insane as I would like it to be. Uh, but it looks like there's a gem box. It looks like there's weapon boxes right here. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. Let's go, let's open one of these and see what we can get. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. An epic blade. Requires level. I can't even use it yet. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, we got some crazy, crazy gear out of it. Uh, the store, what can you say about the store? There's item sets going on if you want to wail out and just buy your item set right off the bat. Uh, there's currencies you can pay for as you would expect. Lifestone pack, I'm not sure what those are, but they are here. So if you want to check it out yourself, absolutely. You can buy yourself some energy, although it does look like you're going to be getting energy very quickly in this game. Though if you're just trying to play, 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 uh, you can go ahead and buy some energy, and uh, I do it in plenty of games. I played Summoner's War for a very long time. I know all about that. You can buy yourself some wings here. Uh, and honestly, what what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? These wings look really sick. First, Sun God wings. <laughs> sun God wings. Look how sick the design on these wings are, guys. These pink ones right here. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Okay, that is fantastic. What's going on in the freebies? You can watch ads. You can get all this beautiful, beautiful stuff. You can actually get crystals just for watching. You can get 40 crystals a day, which is enough to open up one of these loot boxes right here for that weapon I just got just by just by watching ads. I'm a big fan of that. And because you can do that, I'm still I'm a little salty that they throw random ads at you uh, when you're probably going to be watching ads all the time anyway to get your uh, to get your crystals. But it is what it is, you know, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a suggestion, I'm not mad about it. So, final verdict. Final verdict, what do I think about this game? Um, I think I'm going to be playing it, is what I think. Um, uh, there, it's got some potential, I mean, more than potential, it's good. Uh, but it, uh, it has some growing to do, but that's exactly what an early access phase is all about. It's got some growing, but they've got something magical here. They've got something that is going to really, as far as gameplay goes... Uh, it's out of this world. As far as loot grinding goes, it's out of this world. It's very intuitive with all the quest systems. Uh, there's, there's a lot going for it. I like that there's a pet system and that the pet isn't just a random corgi that follows you around. Like, like I, uh, there's a lot going for it. Uh, I like the, the fact that the skills work very well together and there actually is a skill cap. I like the time trial a lot. I like the fact that it, you can either choose to grab every piece of gold you can or you can go for that S ranking, and you really want that S ranking as often as possible. Uh, we entered the domain of the Serpent King. There is a story going on this entire time. Big fan of that. And we're going to chop, chop, chop. So, eh, I don't know. Final thoughts. Final thoughts uh, while we're going into this uh, this boss dungeon. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a download and try for yourself kind of game. Uh, hands down. Oh, oh my goodness, the combination. Did you see the skill I just unlocked? What in the world was that animation? Okay, 
Okay, so yeah, give this game a try yourself. Um, if you want a high skill cap uh, ARPG that you're going to be playing manually and getting very, very good at. Uh, and just, uh, I mean, just time trials, uh, challenges everywhere, uh, crazy boss fights. Look at this, look at this snake. I love the, the like Tim Burton-esque tail going on right here. And we're going to combo him down and we're going to make him feel bad about his life. And that's exactly what you want to see. We're going to do this because it makes us invincible to attacks for a time. And we're going to do this because it keeps us from getting CC'd. And we're going to dash through him to dodge and we're going to slay him. And that is how it goes. We're going to read all that stuff eventually. But right now, let's grab all of our beautiful, beautiful loot. We got an A rank on our first attempt on the final boss on that floor. And I uh, should we see if there's a new biome? Should we see if there's a new biome? Oh, what's going on here? It's sucking me into something. Oh, good. You're back. I don't know. I'm skipping all this. We, we, I don't have, Oh, that was a lot. Thank God I skipped it. Uh, that, that would have that been bad. Uh, let's check out the new biome. Let's see what's going on in uh, the next area. Does it look different? Oh, it does. It's like a, it's like a lava area. So I'm going to cut it off here, guys. We're going to look at this little area and we're going to call it a day. Uh, yeah, final verdict. Uh, I would say uh, give it a try yourself if this is your style of game. If you like Diablo, if you like uh, things like, I mean, if you like ARPGs. Uh, Devil May Cry, this is like Devil May Cry meets Diablo, and I mean that as an absolute compliment. Uh, it, what the heck? Dash through it. <laughs> Dash through it. I was sitting there just taking spike damage. Thank God they do zero damage for some reason, but it might just be because I'm overpowered. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, it's definitely a power trip. You feel strong, although you don't feel too strong because of that time limit. Uh, this game would actually be, uh, worse than it is if it wasn't for that awesome time limit like the fact that you have a goal that is so tight that you have to play to perfection to get to like you basically have to be perfect to get an s rank uh it's uh it really it's refreshing it's dope it's a uh, high skill high reward style action rpg that is done phenomenally and honestly i'm a big fan of how this world works uh th this place looks beautiful and that's all I have to say about that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a try yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.